welcome back to Haunted Blackbird Destinations, where I take you to all the destinations that are haunted and strange, unusual. And today we're here in San Juan Bautista in the historic district, talking about the haunted Plaza Hall, darling. So we're gonna go inside and see how spooky it looks, as well as first, we're gonna dive into the history behind, oh, well, this camp. And some people say it's haunted, some people say it's not, some people say they've seen things, some people say they haven't seen anything. But I feel like when I'm in there, I do feel like a little bit of a weirdness, a little heaviness in there. Um, maybe more like sadness, but kind of eerie at the same time, which is strange. Um, and I want to believe that it is haunted because I do believe in ghosts and demons, so here I am. And today we're going to talk about the history first. And then we're going to dive into the ghost stories. So, shall we, darling? Come on, let's go. Elizabeth Zanetta is the daughter of a wealthy San Juan hoteler and restauranter. His name is Angelino Zanetta. This plaza hall was at first one story adobe structure to house the unmarried young Indian girls of the mission. By 1868, Angelino Zanetta bought it and began to remodel the structure, which was in a damaged state. Angelino Zanetta was in hopefulness that the Plaza Hall would be County Court House. As Hollister became San Benito County's seat, the Zanettas changed the structure to being his family home. The Plaza Stables was built in 1874 and worked by the Overland Stage Firm. It was obtained by Angelino Zanetta and John Comforts. This stable accommodated horses, stagecoaches, and provided wagons roaming San Juan Bautista. Having many names, it was first called Plaza Livery, then Zanetta Stage, Plaza Garage, and now called the Plaza Stables. The Zanetta Stables home famous President U.S. Grant Astor John Vincent, Leland Stanford, and so much more famous people. And before I forget to mention, this Plaza Stable was actually used in a scene directed by Alfred Hitchcock called Thriller Vertigo. The Zanetta family also owned the Plaza Hotel right across the street. It became a very popular hotel for a family and men that loved the saloon that went there to play cards and a game of pool. And it was also well known for its fine Italian cuisine. They say Elizabeth Zanetta, the little girl that died at the age of seven because of smallpox, still haunts her home. As they took her body to the cemetery, they say that she actually never left this house. They say that her ghost still lingers here in the house, down these halls, standing there looking in each room. They say that she comes in here and plays with all her toys and leaves a mess. As it became a routine after they came in one morning. They came in here and they saw all the toys all disheveled. And then they said, what's going on? So they came and they fixed everything and then the next day disheveled again. So she just loves playing in here. And so it became a routine of having to come in here and fix everything. Rumors say people catch ghostly apparitions of a little girl running around here in a white Victorian dress and then suddenly just disappears like this one. This is an actual picture of Elizabeth Zanetta. She died in 1866 and passed away in 1873. I believe everybody that works here realized that Elizabeth was not going to leave her home. So let's see if we see her today down these halls, yeah? I didn't see anything, I'm here by myself. Let's see. From word of mouth, I've heard that lights flicker on and off and they hear tiny little footsteps roaming around and when they look, they see nobody. I've actually met a man here that works here a long time ago and I asked him if he's 
seen anything that was haunted because I didn't know that it was haunted. And apparently he was like, no, it actually is quite haunted here. And I told him, what do you mean by haunted? Like who haunts this plaza hall? And he told me that there is a little girl in a Victorian dress. Dressed in white. He said that a school came to visit the San Juan Bautista Plaza Hall and he noticed that when he came to clean, he saw one little girl dressed in a white Victorian dress. As he tried to go up to her to see if she was lost, she vanished. And that's when I did my research and found out all these rumors and stories. So these are rumors and definitely people that have visited here as well as people that live around here, like the neighborhood. So they see a lot of things. So I've spoke to a lot of people and they're like, yes, I've seen this and I've seen that. And then other people are telling me I haven't seen anything and I don't believe that place is haunted. So, hmm, well, what do you think? Hmm. I'm in here by myself and I definitely feel interesting I've seen people coming in and out of here right now and they keep saying well it just seems really scary in here it's kind of haunting it's kind of spooky it's kind of creepy and then they kind of like walk out and then I'm here by myself again and I kind of get that eerie feeling in here actually especially down this hall hmm I'm actually yeah, I feel a little nervous actually. Strange. Like I feel like I'm going to catch something. But no one really even catches anything. When they're trying to see if they see something. So for nothing. Mm, I do find it interesting in here though. It's just kind of, it's like nice and bright, but at the same time it kinda Gives me an eerie feeling. But anyway, I can't believe I'm roaming around the same halls that she actually roamed around and probably ran through these halls playing around with her dolls. Elizabeth Zanetta has been deceased for over 140 years from now. Elizabeth rests in the Zanetta family plot in San Juan Bautista Cemetery District. Her tombstone sits on a hill right along the church street overlooking the view of the Highway 156. Thank you guys so much for watching Haunted Blackbird Destinations where I talk about all things strange and unusual and haunted. Thanks for coming with me on this adventure. If you guys like the videos that I'm doing, do not forget to press a thumbs up and a subscribe button on the bottom there and I will do more videos for you guys. And have a nice night.